Hey guys, what's going on? It's Brock. Welcome you back to another Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links video, and today we're going to be taking a look at the new campaign that just dropped tonight. It's obviously the Pick a Gift campaign. You can only pick one of three gifts um, each day, and you have to, I guess, choose wisely depending on what your resources currently are. But I'm going to go down through all, every day and basically tell you what I think I would recommend. So, obviously, if if you're really in need of gold or keys, which I definitely don't need either, then I would definitely go for those. I would probably go for the keys more than I would go for the 20,000 gold. But... Or is that... No, that's 20,000. Wow, I thought that was 200,000 for a second. Nope. <laughs> um... Yeah, but I went for the 200 gems because that's currently what I'm lacking in, and I already spent them I'm trying to get a third snow so I could possibly put together a video for that, because I feel like that would be interesting. So, w with this update, we are actually able to get three cards from the sky, which, if you guys don't know what that does, basically, you can banish one light monster from your hand and just draw two cards. And now we have three of them. So you can use this with the Spiritual Art Light um, Hygieria, I believe it's called, and you can pretty much get that light monster that's banished and just special summon it back to your field. So I would like to see some deck ideas with that, but I'm probably going to end up picking like... I feel like I'll pick. I'll end up picking two cards from the sky. I'm not sure though, but um... I really wanted to go over what you, you guys, I would recommend you to get. If, if you need anything in the R tickets, probably you should go there, I guess, but I mean, you get those every month for PvP, and you get like three of them, so that's not a bad deal, um, versus picking up two here, or maybe one here. I would go for the exclusive cards, the, the card exclusives, like the event exclusives, I mean. So, uh, we're going to take a look at uh, Sword of the Deep Seated. Basically, um, what's nice about this card is it can be used as a free cost payment for cards such as Divine Wrath and Magic Jammer. And uh, this card can be used to slow the rate at which a Light Sworn deck is depleted. Because when it's sent to the grave, obviously it just goes back to your deck. Horn of the Unicorn is obviously a stronger version of this card, however it only returns to the top of the deck when sent from the field to the graveyard, while Sword of Deep Seated will send itself to the top of the deck in other situations. Such as discarding to activate Curse Seal the Forbidden Spell. Um, basically, um, what what uh, I would recommend is if you're using this uh, sort of deep seated in, in a deck, it it basically um, its card effect that sends it to the deck is obligatory. Um, it obviously really slows down the uh, the drawing power of that deck way too much. So they recommend using like something like Freed the Matchless General, which uh, forfeits your draw and grabs a warrior from your deck instead. So, I don't know, whatever you really want to do. Another way to help prevent uh, deck slowdown is to equip it to Ernie Parshath. Since you draw a card every time it inflicts uh, life point damage. So you could actually combo Sword of Deep Seated with uh, the new cards from the sky. And go hand in hand with each other, pretty much. Um, this combo basically results in a 2400 attack monster with piercing. That allows you to draw the card that could be blocked by the equip spell's destruction ahead of time. Um, and Dimion the Master Magician. I mean, once per turn you can discard one spell card to destroy one card on the field. This card could assure you that effect, once per turn. Um, you can use this card to counteract Vampire Lord's effect if you, if your opponent chooses spell cards. This card will go into the graveyard, then return to the deck, which will, pro which will basically protect your spell cards, as your opponent won't want to bother choosing that type of card for the effect after the first attempt. But, then again, when are you ever going to go up against Vampire Lord PvP? No offense, but I don't think I've ever seen it. <laughs> and let's check out Spiritual Earth 
art, Kira game. I, I think this will be a very good card. We already have one of it, and it was from a Rex Raptor level up. So, I don't know. Um, they recommend that it's very useful in a in an Earth deck, obviously, like like an Atoria deck, that, or a deck that involves three of each of uh, the Exiled Force. Um, although you cannot special summon the attributed monster, you are able to special summon another copy of the same card. You can use this to effectively attack twice during the same battle phase, or to get around the detrimental effects of Tomb or Goblin Attack Force and other monsters. But I, I think this is going to be more useful with uh, cards like Neospatian Grand Mole, or the XX Savers, possibly. I mean, if you guys want to try that off, it, it could possibly work for you. But, I mean, I still feel like it's, it's going to be a decent card to pick up. I would recommend picking up a Spiritual Earth Art Cure Gain, as well as the Guardian of Felgrim. Now, let's talk about that card. <laughs> this was a Mokuba level up reward. I believe it was level 40, actually. Um, now, the fact that this says Light and Darkness Dragon is a great card to equip to this card makes me feel like people are going to want to pick this up. This is a sign that Chaz Princeton is going to bring Light and Darkness Dragon to his event. 100% confirmed right here by the fact that they're giving us Guardian of Felgrim. You might even want to get three of these. I don't know, but if it comes, and you guys aren't ready for that, oof, I'm definitely getting two, so. Because I still want to get the spiritual art, but I still want to get this. This light and darkness dragon is awesome. So, let's go back through the list. I just want to show you one more time. I would go for 200 gems, cards from the sky, uh, I'll probably go for the 100 gems that time. Uh, either Guardian of Felgrond or Earth Art. Probably going for the Dole Orbs uh, day 5, honestly. And then... I'm going to go for a sort of Deep Seated for the day 6. Day 7, I'm going to go for the 500 R Jewels. Day 8, I'm going to go for the 300 Light Jewels or light stones, and then for day 9, you don't really have a choice, but if I could choose, I would rather choose something else, but oh well, because I already have three of everything. But anyways guys, that's going to wrap it up for today's video. If you guys liked it, make sure you leave a like and a comment down below, and uh, let me know what you guys are going to be picking up at this event. I think it's pretty cool. Um, hopefully we'll be seeing a card trader update in the next few days or so. I'm hoping, I'm banking on tonight, but eh, I'm not sure. Since we got this, probably won't be getting the card trader update. But you never know. I mean, there were really no new cards added, so it's not a very good sign. <laughs> but anyways, hope you have yourselves a good night. Peace.